Are you ready to explore a city bursting with creativity? Are you intrigued by the stories painted on the wall? Welcome to San Francisco, where the streets are alive with vibrant murals and captivating street art. Join me and I'll show you some of our urban masterpieces. So whether you're a passionate art enthusiast or just curious, come experience the captivating stories that unfold on San Francisco streets. If you've not taken a second to subscribe to our channel yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment or a like below. One of the things that drew me to San Francisco over 20 years ago was how beautiful and interesting it is. I feel grateful every day that my job is to drive around the city. I get to take in the views. I get to find hidden gems in various neighborhoods and of course, enjoy the architecture. But one of the things that makes it most interesting is the art, specifically the mural. Whether you're visiting San Francisco for the very first time, or if you're a local resident who needs a reason to rediscover a few things that make San Francisco special, let's take this journey together and discover the history and the voices of the renowned muralists and the street artists of San Francisco. San Francisco has a rich history of murals that have served as a powerful tool for artistic expression and a catalyst for counterculture movements. Dating back to the early 20th century, Muralists became a means for artists to convey political, social, and cultural messages, giving voices to marginalized communities and challenging the status quo. The muralists of San Francisco Mission District in particular became the canvas for artists to address issues of gentrification, activism, and cultural identity. The mural movement gained traction as artists sought to break free from the confines of traditional art spaces and reach for the broader audience that influenced by the Mexican muralist movement with artists like Diego Rivera with his iconic mural at the San Francisco Art Institute set the stage for a new wave of muralists to emerge. One of San Francisco's largest and best known murals, Maestra Peace, celebrates the courageous contributions of women throughout time and around the world. It was painted in 1994 by seven women artists. The mural was fully cleaned and restored in 2012 by the original muralist with the assistance of a new generation of muralists. Bombay Alley is a great place to see a concentrated collection of murals. The murals began in the mid 80s and they were an expression of the artist's outrage over political abuses in Central America. Today, the alley contains constantly changing murals on a myriad of styles and subjects. My little sister, who I'm fortunate to live next door to, had the amazing idea of shooting family photos in this alley a few years back, and I loved how they turned out. Aren't they such a beautiful family? One of the most notable mural collections in the Mission District is Presida Eyes Muralist. Founded in the 1970s, they've been instrumental in creating and preserving murals that reflect the neighborhood's history and amplify the voices of its residents. Additionally, Clarendon Alley has become a renowned outdoor gallery featuring ever-changing collections of politically and socially charged murals that provoke thought and spark. The Mission is not the only neighborhood known for murals. Coit Tower atop a Telegraph Hill is not only an architectural landmark, but also home of a remarkable collection of murals created by a group of talented artists. And now for one of my favorites. Artist Jane Kim of Inkdwell's Migration Mural is a series of public artworks that focus on the iconic and threatened Monarch Butterfly, highlighting wildlife along the migration corridors that it shares with its people. Le Pipelon, located in the Tenderloin, depicts a single monarch flying towards the state flower, the California poppy. On the south wall, butterflies and poppies showcase representatives from five families of butterflies found in San Francisco. In Chinatown, locals are revitalizing the area. The Chinatown Media and Arts Collaborative open Edge on the Square, a free art and expedition center where visitors and residents can explore Asian art culture. Last year, Heroes was unveiled, which depicts an important but unrecognized Asian art leaders. So right now I'm in Umbrella Alley, which is near Fisherman's Wharf. And I have to say, I've never been here before, but it is awesome. There are colored balloons and umbrellas everywhere and just tons of art. It's interactive art. There's some little chalkboards where you can write on stuff. And it's a great place to run around with your kids and get some great photos. Whether you're considering a move to San Francisco or you already live in the city, navigating real estate can be very complex. Email us at hello at ruthchristian.com. Also, if you're enjoying our content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so that we can continue making content that you like. 
Learn more about us at RuthChristian.com.